So, have you uh, found your marketing manager yet? Still reviewing. Quite a number of people applied for the job. Mm, good luck. You're not helping me? No. Have fun. Bye. <laughs> Oh, Jay, how's the search for the marketing manager going? Coming along slowly. Mm, good ones are to find her. Huh? Yeah, man. Tell me about it. Mm, you know, marketing is about creating a vision. It's identifying the product's age, capitalizing on it, and developing strategies to meet the goals of the company while keeping an eye on the budget. Ah, you know, I studied business and marketing in uni. You don't have the relevant experience. Ah, I helped to organise KS Food's 20th anniversary walkathon. Remember? Well, I remember it was Aaron Galestan who came up with the idea and Suzanne who did the coordination. Yeah, but... Chris, I need somebody with the experience. Sorry. Uh, it, it's okay. I, I understand. Or not. Come here. Mm. A little bit of exercise here, pain there, pain. Planking is tough again. But Kairul made it look so easy. He looks super fit. Kairul, Kairul, Kairul. Every day I hear his name now. Hey, if I don't have a kid and a wife to support, I also can go to the gym every day and be super fit, okay? Hey, but talking about Aka, uh, uh, yeah, uh, you think he and Izzy uh, got got chance or not? I think he's interested in her, but she says they are just friends. Ah, uh, you better not help. No lah, nonsense. They are what? So free ah? Uh? Ah, uh, free or not, you can be quite capable, but actually not quite. If you are. Assalamualaikum. Salam. Welcome, salam. Uh, Kairul, come here, come. The door is not locked. Hey! Hi. I brought you guys some goreng pisang. Oh, so nice of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, come lah, just sit down. So free, ah, my goreng pisang. Ah. I had a meeting nearby. Ala, too bad Izzy's not here. She loves goreng pisang. Oh yeah, I didn't know that. Huh? Now you know. So visit us often <laughs> with goreng pisang. <laughs> okay. Of course. No, no, no. Man, you go and get your plate. Thank you. <laughs> uh, eat, I will. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chris, guess what? We are low on towels again. Hey, uh, what do you think of the slogan? It well don't work so hard. How about work smart and collect the towels before you come to work? Smart. Towels, don't forget. No sweat. No sweat. Chris, I think you should sweat more. Do some work. Okay. okay. Bro, thanks for the diapers. Eh, hey, no worries. Luckily, Grace still wears size M. Rian wears size L now. So, how's the adoption process going? Things are coming together. Vanessa and I are meeting Eric later to discuss the pre-adoption hearing. Oh. oh, great. I'm glad you were things up with Vanessa. We were so worried about you. Sayang, that's all in the past now. Yep. Everything's legal and above board and in Grace's and Vanessa's best interests. <laughs> sorry, Chick. I really need to get this done. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Is it? Um, uh, ask you, uh, are you interested in anyone? Uh, she, I'm really busy. Uh, don't be shy. Uh. <laughs> Tell me, okay, what kind of guy do you like? I can help you find. Hey. Hi, Chi. Hey. Is he? Hi. Uh, here for coffee? Uh, join us, come. Come, Kairos. Sure. Sit down. Come. Okay. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> I forgot. I need to do something at the clinic. Uh, Kairul, you keep easy company. Eh? Of course. <laughs> Cheers, Gupaza. Gupaza? Cheers, cheers. Vanessa, hi. Oh, Tanya. Are you here to pick up Grace? Uh, no, I'm here to meet a lawyer. Ben wants to adopt Grace. Oh. Yeah. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I, I just, I get nervous with legal stuff, you know. Just can't help feeling as a single mom with psychological issues, I'm at a disadvantage. Don't worry. You're protected by the law. If you want, I can find a colleague to advise you. Oh, thanks, but I don't think I can afford a lawyer. Anyway, Ben knows what's best for me and Grace. So, yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah. yeah. Bye. Bye. Double fitness lets you spend less time in the gym and more time on other things. Hashtag it's smart, don't sweat hard. What do you think? Promote healthy food by appealing to one sloth? <laughs> that's so you. Oi, please, that's the mindset of most people who don't want to be in the gym longer than they have to. And you gotta admit, it's quite funny. Anti marketing by using reverse psychology and humor to invoke curiosity? I gotta say, it's pretty creative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you didn't even have to ask me for help. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? You think Jun Kai will approve of this? Yeah, I think he got a shot. To end it off, I just want to say in this eyeball-driven industry, using a tongue-in-cheek hashtag like it's smart, don't sweat hard can garner maximum exposure for your product and create a lasting impression on your brand. So, what do you think? I like it. You do? I mean, of course you do. <laughs> Give us some time to look through the proposal in detail. Okay, sure. Um, regarding the marketing manager position... We'll discuss it and let you know. Thank you for your time. Hey, I'll walk you up. Thank you, Uncle Wong san Thank you, Jinghai. Wait, wait. So how? Uh, I'm actually... Unbelievably impressed. Mm -hmm. They're putting a good word for me then. Mm, so, what's in it for me? I'm your twin. I benefit, you benefit. Mm, think about it. Wait, I am serious. <laughs> I'm a partner. Uh, hi, Rafiq. Hey. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm almost done debugging, so I'll install the app in a spare phone and pass it to you later. Thanks. Uh, Rafiq, I would ask you to join us, but me and Izzy want some privacy, so. You don't mind, right? Of course, I don't mind. Why did you do that? Operation Green Knight Monster, aka Wafik. It's working. I must say, Chris has exceeded my expectations. You can try him out. I don't think we should hire him. Why? He's an ex-convict. Not good for a company's image. Who will want to work with us? People don't have to know. It can easily come up if anything goes wrong. We will look stupid for hiring him after what happened at KS Food. Cannot risk our reputation. Is Leon around? She's upstairs. By the way, um, I'm glad to hear that you're adopting Grace. It benefits both mother and child. It has always been my intention to do what's right. I've told you that before. Are you going off the easy? Why do you ask? 
As a family friend, I think I should let you know that this is a very important year for Izzy. She's doing her masters and working on a thesis. She has a lot on her plate now. I know. Good. I hope you don't distract her from her priorities. Priorities? Yes, priorities. Okay. Let's talk about priorities then. The first one I think we can agree is school, right? Yes, of course. And after all that hard work, her second priority would be stress relief. And that is dating me, which I'm really good at. And then last on her list of priorities would be working for you for free. What? She's coding some app for you, right? I was going to pay her. Right. I really like your proposal, but I'm afraid I can't offer you the job. You found someone already? No, we're still looking. But I thought you liked the proposal. Yes, I do, but... Is it because I'm an ex-convict? Chris, you committed fraud at KS Foods. If we hire you again, and if people found out, it would not be good for my father's reputation. We can't afford to take this risk. I hope you understand. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Yeah, I understand. Once the adoption order has been made, it's as though Grace was born to the both of you in lawful marriage. So, I'll still be Grace's mother? Yes. But for Ben to be the official stepfather, I need Grace's father to waive his parenting rights. Do you know who Grace's biological father is? I... I... I don't, I don't know. You are aware that you need to sign an affidavit stating that you don't know Grace's biological father's identity, right? Yes. So you really don't know? Yes. You can be charged with perjury for lying on an affidavit. You understand? I, I already told you I don't know. I don't know. Why do you keep interrogating me like, like I'm a criminal? Of course you're not. Just that you need to state your reasons on the affidavit. Ben, didn't you mention that you had a relapse around the time you conceived Grace? You were going through an emotional roller coaster and everything was a blur. So, Eric, I think it's understandable that she may not have known who Grace's father is. Is that true? Yes. What did Jinkai say? I don't want to talk about it. I just want to get back to work. Hey, Chris. Can I get a towel? Yeah. Here you go. Can I take a look at this? Sure. You came up with this. This is a solid proposal. Nice job. Thanks. Look, the job offer still stands. I would love to have you on my team because I can use a talent like you. You're not concerned my criminal record will affect your company image? <sighs> You've done your time, Chris, and everybody deserves a second chance. You have the skill set and the drive to be successful 
And with live feed, sky's the limit. Think about it. I'll let you know the dates. Thanks. I'll walk you up. Ben, I don't like how this is going. What do you mean? I thought it went well. Well, I mean to feel like like I, I'm some promiscuous nutcase that doesn't even remember the father of her child. What's the problem? You know, that's not true. Yeah, but Grace doesn't know that. And I, I, I don't want her growing up thinking her mother is like that. I don't think I want to lie on the affidavit. It's not like you've never lied before. You lied to me, you lied to my family, you lied to everyone just to trap me into marrying you. Ben. And you can't even tell a simple lie to help me. To help Grace. Will you be available for an interview later this week? Okay, good. I'll email you the details. Bye. Why did he reject my brother? He worked really hard on that proposal. It's a good proposal. My father was against it. Persuade him. Chris already fooled him once when he joined KS Foods with a fake cert. Fooled him twice. Shame on him. Okay, but he's already learned his lesson. He won't do it again. I can't afford to risk it. This company is my father's second chance. He can't afford to lose another business. Why can't you just trust my brother? You see, you've just proven why hiring him is a bad idea. Okay, lines are blurred and it puts a strain on our relationship. Okay, okay. Just forget I said anything, okay? Wow, Pam, mm. you know your taste in men is slowly moving towards senior citizen. What? Hey, what does Wayne do anyway? Um, well, uh, he works in an MNC. Yeah, but we don't talk much about his work. Hey, an uncle like him must be quite boring, right? Hey, excuse me, at least he doesn't spend all his free time slacking like you guys, right? <sighs> but anyway, I think age is just a number. I mean, even if you're of the same age, it doesn't guarantee that the relationship will work out, right? Ah, true. All relationships are doomed anyway. What does it matter what the age gap is? <clears throat> hey, Pam, Pam, Pam. You know, maybe you can ask my Akong and Mrs. Pereira to go on a double date with you and Wayne. Ew, no! <laughs> Why? Hey, you know senior citizens watch movie got discount? Can you stop it? What? It's true. It's not even funny. It's funny, right, Mike? <laughs> funny, right? Mm. Yeah, still no. So, was Kyro talking to you about the job at Life Feed? Yeah, he offered again. And I'm quite tempted. But, like you said, it's gonna make everybody upset. Well, I'll just keep a lookout again. Go for it. What? Go for it. You sure? But I'll be working for Sheila and Peter Tay, our family's enemies. <sighs> You've been hitting a wall for so long. And anyway, this is just a job. It's not like you're selling your family out. Yeah, I would never do that. Exactly. And this is a good opportunity. But life it is top always biggest competitor. Well, that's Jinkai's loss for not hiring you. He saw the proposal, he knew that it was good. Yeah, and he wouldn't appreciate me for not accepting Life Fit's offer anyway. In fact, you should take it up just to prove them wrong. You're right. Thanks, babe. Hey, 
perfect. Hey. Here you go. I've installed the app in this phone. It's a spare phone that my friend doesn't want anymore. Thank you. Ah, uh, can you provide me an invoice for all the work you've done so far? I'll pay you. I don't expect payment. I told you it's free. Anyway, I prepared this. I have checked the market rate. It should be around this amount. This will go to charity. It's yours. You can do whatever you want with it. I accept the position of assistant sales manager. Excellent. HR will prepare the documents for you to sign first thing tomorrow. Thank you. I'm surprised. You're not concerned with what your family might think, especially Jun Kai and Diana. It's irrelevant what they think. I'm doing this for me and my wife's future. Good. Can you start tomorrow? Tomorrow. I'll check and get back to you. Sure. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Welcome to Life Feed. We've got big plans for you. Well, the sun is slowly fading, but the moon is rising. High. What's wrong? Too fast. Don't know which idiot didn't pack up after they were done. I had to clear their crap. End up no time to eat my lunch. Luckily, I helped you. Oh. Well, you can forget about having lunch. Yeah. Next break, your treat, huh? Yeah. Hey, you didn't help me, what? Hey, I had to listen to your lousy indigestion story, okay? Hey, anyone uh. seen Michael? Hey, I was just about to ask you. I didn't see him during lunch. He's not in the office now. Anyone knows where he went? 